The ls command is used to list files or directories in Linux and other Unix-based operating systems. Just like you navigate in your file explorer or finder with a GUI, the ls command allows you to list all the files or directories in the current directory by default and further interact with them via the command line. Dash "-a", or double dash "-all", parameters lists files or directories, including hidden files or directories. So in Linux, anything that begins with a dot, that is considered a hidden file. Dash "-l", lists the contents of the directory in a table format with content permissions, size of the content in bytes, and last modified date and time of the content. Dash H, or double dash human readable, display size information with human readable format. Dash S, or double dash size, where S is lowercase, lists files or directories with their sizes. Dash uppercase S, lists files or directories and sorts by date or time in descending order, or from biggest to smallest. Finally, dash T is a parameter that lists files or directories and sorts by last modified date and time in descending order, from biggest to smallest. So let's go ahead and practice. So go to Kali, log in with the default credentials Kali and Kali, Open up the command line. Now you can change the font size from the preferences under the file tab. Click on change. I'm going to set the size to be 14. Okay, so that's better for me. Now let's run the ls command with a help parameter and we'll be able to see some detailed information. So you can see the arguments, options, and parameters here, and you can use them when needed. They're all right here. So I'll show you some of the most common options. Now, and by the way, you can clear the screen with Control L. So let's list all the files under the slash user slash bin folder with dash AL parameter. And as you can see, we find all the files, including the hidden files, with the long listing format. And these are the permissions and last modified date of the file. So let's look at the file sizes with the human readable format. And as you can see, the file sizes are more readable now. Now, the next parameter is lowercase s, and it'll show you the total size and sizes of each file. And then finally, we'll use the t parameter. And it sorts the files and directories by the last modified date and time from biggest to smallest. 